Hello everybody and welcome to Andrew Rants, the video series where I talk about things that piss me off, annoy me, confuse me, bother me, or just plain drive me insane. And this week I'm talking about critics. That's right. Critics. You know those people. Movie critics, TV critics. Critics that just piss people off and say that something sucks. Well, here's the thing for you to ponder while I rant for a little bit. Do you think critics are crushing the imagination and creativity of the next generation? Because I sure as hell do. Let me explain why I think that, but you can still ponder that in your mind as I rant here a bit. Critics to me are something that are both needed and also unwanted at the same time. Don't get me wrong now, if you are a critic, it's a good thing. You're needed for some purpose in life. You need to tell people if something's horrible, and you also need to tell somebody if something's good. But at the same time, being a critic is a thankless job, because you're running the risk of basically pissing off and alienating half a dozen people, and making more and more of them mad. But what gets me is a lot of critics will say something sucks when it's actually good. Take, for example, a few movies that I actually enjoy. Super Mario Brothers, that starred Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo. This movie is hated by so many people. I actually like it. Okay, sure, it's definitely something strange and unusual. It's nowhere near the actual Mario Brothers games. Then again, I never played those growing up. That to be the only Mario game I ever owned was Super Mario Sunshine. No Luigi. See where I'm going with that? But anyway, that movie is hated by so many people, yet I love it. I think it's a wonderful movie. Yes, some of the things could have been done better, but still, for the time, it's got a decent plot, and it's pretty damn good as far as I'm concerned. But at the same time, I can see why people hate it. But critics will find a newer movie, like let's say, like, let's go with, um, oh god, what was a really... I, I, I don't really want to go this route again, but I'm going to. I have to. Let's go with the Power Rangers movie. That abomination that came out back in March of this year. Yes, we all remember that. I've bitched about that so many times on my podcast, which, by the way, you can find here on YouTube. New episodes uploaded every Sunday. I have bitched and complained about that so many times, it's not even funny anymore. But anyway, let's go with that. The critics loved it. They say it's a great and wonderful movie. I refuse to see it. From the trailer alone, they already show you what half the movie's gonna be. You know what the movie's gonna entail. Just from the trailer alone, you saw the entire movie. It, you can piece together what's gonna happen. But you'll have people that'll go see that because, oh, well, the critics say it's a great movie. I, I have to go see it. I want to see why it's so good. But yet, there could be a really good movie. Like, let's jump back to the 80s. Let's uh, look at Overboard. I just finished watching that for like the second time since I got the DVD. And that is a good movie. It's Kurt Russell, Goldie Hawn. Uh, Goldie Hawn plays a really stuck-up bitch. She, gets, uh, she falls overboard and gets amnesia and ends up living with some guy that she pissed off when he was building her a closet. And he fakes and uh, makes her believe that, he, that she's his wife. And mother of his four sons. It's a good movie, but why they need to make a reboot of it, I'll never know. But we'll get in. I I'll talk about that at a later date. Anyway, critics were saying that that movie was cliched, it was bad, unimaginative, unappealing. I thought it was good. So that's what leads me to think this, you know, because if the critics are going to say it's bad, nobody's going to want to create anything that they think is good. I mean, somebody could go see a movie that the critics say was horrible, it was a piece of garbage, don't go see this, and that could inspire them. That movie could have something in it that could inspire them to create something wonderful with their life. I mean, they could end up doing something magnificent, but they may never get that chance because a critic said, oh, no, this movie's horrible, don't go see it. And it's like, well, you don't know it's bad just from your standpoint. I mean, how many movies does a critic have to go see a week? A shit ton. How much stuff do they have to critique and criticize a week? A lot. And they have the audacity to stand over us on pedestals and say with smiles on their faces, this movie's bad or this TV show's bad. 
Now, I have reviewed stuff myself here on YouTube under Andrew Reviews. Now, my stuff that I review are mostly toys and everything else. Now, they've been out for a little while. So, it's not exactly something that you can't find other people's opinions of. And it's mostly my opinion based on what I show you. But critics... They hold the power to make or break something literally in the palm of their hands. They can easily go, oh yeah, this is a really good movie, and it sucks. Because they're getting paid money to say it's good. They can go, oh well, we have ethics. Ethics my ass. You're getting that fat ass paycheck. To sit there, give your honest opinion about something, you're going to go, well, if I say this sucks, I might never get to review and critique something again. This movie was a wonderful, wonderful experience for me. Almost close to that of having sex. And people are going to go, oh, wow, i got to go see this. And it sucks. I present to you a perfect example, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That movie sucked ass. I actually read the book. At least two chapters of it. I didn't like it. The movie sucked. Critics were saying this is one of the greatest movies of our time. Well then lock me up in a freezer and uh, put on there. Do not open until the year 2035. Because obviously our time sucks. If you have a movie that's that bad. That's what annoys me. And critics still do this to this day. So... Like I said in my original question that I asked you to ponder about, are critics ruining the creativity of the next generation? Well, that's for you to decide. Do you think they are or don't you think they are? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I'm Andrew Rhodes, and this has been Andrew Rance.